Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. I'm about to show you a shot you guys watching will have never ever have seen and I'm sure we've all missed this shot today I'm going to help you and show you and explain why there's a certain way to play this shot this is a situation we are faced with in this rack of course not every situation will be like this but this is about me explaining to you pool fans this shot and why we hit this particular shot I know what you're thinking pot the two land on the three pot the three and clear the table but we have a little bit of angle on the two ball and it is vital that after we pot the two ball we do not go past this line on the three because if we go past this line it's going to be very difficult to gain position on the pink four so we have to stay below this line that means the positional shot is very very easy now this is the problem the angle we've got in order to pot this two and to stay below this line, you need to roll the cue ball. Now, how many of you guys have missed this shot by rolling it? I have, everybody has, because you're trusting the table. In professional events, the tables are 99% level most of the time, but many of you people and pool players watching around the world, you're playing in league night, let's be honest, the tables are not that level a lot of the venues you go so we have to play this shot a little bit different again if we roll it it could roll off it could hit something on the uh, on the table a little bit of chalk anything like that so we can't play this too hard so this is what happens if we hit this shot a little bit too hard There you see, didn't hit it that hard, but the cue ball flew up past this line, and now we've got to get the cue ball traveling around the world to get back on the four. Now I'm just gonna roll the cue ball and show you what might happen, because we need to stay below this line, because the four ball's up there, so we need an angle on the three. So if I roll this ball, I know personally I'm not gonna hit the cue ball as good as I want. I'm gonna quit on the shot, just doesn't feel nice when you're queuing up. You're not hitting the shot with any authority. So this is what might happen when you roll. So again, I'm just rolling it because I have to stay below this line. And there you see, trying to stay below this line, babied the shot and often it can just roll off a little bit. The main thing is you don't put the stroke you want on the shot and you missed the ball. Hands up, how many of you have missed a ball like that when you're trying to roll it in? So before I tell you how to hit this shot off the rail, let's go back in time and look at the drag shot. I've put the video up on my channel before explaining about the drag shot. If you've not seen that, I'll put the link in the description so you can watch it. This shot is very, very similar. If you missed it, I'm just gonna show you a quick drag shot and then We'll go back to the shot on the rail because the way you hit the cue ball in these two shots are pretty much exactly the same. And most of the pros play the drag shot a lot of the time, but they certainly hit the cue ball like that even off the rail. So what do we do? We aim low on the cue ball and we kind of jab the cue through a little bit. We don't go right through the cue because if we do that, we're going to draw back. So it's like a bit of a stun type hit. Let me just demonstrate. So we're hitting low on the cue ball and just pay attention to how far I deliver my cue and watch the cue ball after I pop the three. Of course, I'm gonna drop a little slow-mo in so you can see the cue even more. And there you see, you can see the cue ball skids. By the time it gets to the object ball, it's rolling, it's slowed down. And that is just a positive way to play the shot so the cue ball doesn't roll off. And that is the same as this shot. 
The cue ball's not going to react exactly the same way, but it will do a little bit. The main thing is you cue this shot the exact same way as when you're playing the drag shot. That is so I can hit this shot with a bit more authority. I'm not rolling it and I'm not hitting it super hard so the cue ball gets lost and we lose position. So let's have a go at this. Get a bit of John Walk on the cue. So I'm queuing up to this ball and I'm just going to play it like I would cue the drag shot. It's like a little bit of a jabby shot, but still queuing it nice. There you could see the cue ball actually set off a little bit quicker and it kind of slows down when it gets to the ball. This is very important shot. I've stayed below the line so I can get good position. If I'd have rolled it, I would never fancy the shot because I'm not cueing the ball. And of course, if I just pop the ball, as we've seen earlier on, you're going to lose position. This shot comes up a lot. It comes up more than you think. This is just one instance. That is a key shot in a game of pool. Please let me know in the comments, did anyone know about that shot? Here's another example of a position you find yourself in so often when playing a game of pool. Just a simple nine. Again, you don't want to be getting down and hitting this super hard because you're going to maximise your chances of missing that pot. And we don't want to roll it. Get away from rolling balls. When do you see professionals rolling balls? They just don't really roll it. If it looks like the cue ball's rolling, they've usually hit a drag shot or a kill shot, as you say in America. They've hit it a little bit different. So the cue ball is going to react the same as if you were rolling it, but they're hitting the shot with more authority. So it's a little bit like this, just a simple nine ball, but the cue ball's on the rail. It's a little bit scary, but I'm going to hit this the same as I hit the two ball. The same as the drag shot, that little kind of jabby stroke, just to get the cue arm cueing through a little bit more powerful, but with the same result, a little bit like this. Now you could see the cue ball's not flying around the table. It's not bouncing back off the rail one or two feet it's just hitting the rail nice and i've put a nice positive stroke on that it looks like i've rolled it but guys i haven't it's a shot you guys have probably never seen and it's a shot that the pros well they just won't tell you but i have that is a shot when you're queuing near the rail that is going to elevate your pool game as i said before we've all missed balls Nine times out of ten, when I watch an amateur pool player and they miss that type of shot, even if they're just trying to pot the ball and forget about position, it's A, because they've hit it too hard, or B, because they're rolling it. Try this shot out, guys. It's a very similar strike to the drag shot. Let me know in the comments how you get on. As always, smash the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell. I'll see you very soon.